Good morning guys, it is Arika Misha. Just doing a quick video um, on cooking cakes. Just basically, I'm, I'm baking some cakes. And I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys. I am using the Duncan Hines um, Perfectly Moist Double Food, Doubles Food Cake Mix. All right, and it's the 15.25 ounce box. And I also have the Perfectly Moist Classic white Duncan Hines cake. Same thing. So I've got my classic white cake, and I'm gonna use Duncan Hines, of course, creamy milk chocolate frosting. It's supposed to be their great new taste. So I'm gonna use that with my uh, classic white cake, and I'm gonna use the creamy Duncan Hines creamy cream cheese frosting. Also supposed to be their great new taste. The 16 ounce. They're both 16 ounce. I'm going to use that for the chocolate cake. And you see I've got everything set up here. i got my eggs out. Um, i got my measuring cups out. My oil. And I've got some leftover chocolate chips over there. From where I made some homemade chocolate chip cookies. Got those sitting back there. I figured I'd kind of sprinkle some chocolate chips over the top of the cake. We'll see. We'll see what I'm going to do. Um, I might and I might not. So... But yeah, the let me show you guys in the back here. Quick and easy. Um, the only thing you need is, I'll tell you, my kitchen lighting is horrible. I'm trying to get it fixed. Okay, so we've got, let me turn this way. One half cup of water, three large eggs, and one third cup of vegetable oil. That's all it requires, so. Yep easy recipe so I'm gonna go ahead and get started just wanted to show you guys what we're gonna be baking up baking some cakes so and of course it's easy from what I'm reading it's easy um, I've done Duncan Hines before but um, alright so let's go ahead and get to baking I'll be back guys okay guys I am back and I've already put my cake mix um, in the bowl, in my mixing bowl. So I'm going to go ahead, according to the directions, I'm just going to go ahead and add the water, the oil, and the eggs. So it calls for one cup of water. All right, I've got my one cup here. One cup of water. I'm going to pour it right in the middle. It's just how I do it. Do it however you want. That's just how I do it. Okay. One cup of water. Oil. Let's see. One third cup of oil. Let's get our oil. And I've got my one third cup measuring cup here. Okay. Right in the middle with my water. Like I said. Do it however you want. It's just how I do it. Okay, and we've got our three eggs. Let me get my towel. <clears throat> All right. Add my egg right there to the middle. Egg one, egg two. And the ingredients calls for three large eggs. So these are large eggs that I have okay cake mix water oil and eggs in a large bowl mix it up mix it up and I've just got a regular fork I do have a blender you know the automatic blender the electrical blender I have one of those but you know what I like mixing my cakes up myself I like mixing them up with a fork it's just what I like to do Just how I like to do it. And I scrape my sides to make sure I get everything there. Mix, 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 mix. And also a little trick. I forgot to show you guys, but I'll probably show you on the next cake mix. When I pour the dry cake mix in, I always take my fork and I break it up. 
you know, just to get those big chunks out. That way when I add my other ingredients, I don't have those, you know, too many big chunks to worry about. Just a little trick I learned. Helps with those chunks that don't want to go away. Alright, we just gonna get this mixed up. And I like using a clear glass bowl so that I can see. Like underneath, you can look under your bowl and see, you know, if you've got a dry spot, like an area that's not mixed. <clears throat> I just like working with the clear bowls anyway. When I'm doing cakes and baking. You guys will see I'm always using these clear bowls. Just a little four piece set. I've also got another little bowl over here. I think this was like a four piece set I got from Walmart. And I've got my stove preheated to 350 over there like the instructions said. Alright, getting this all mixed up. Don't take long. And I also have my cake pans. Um, it's set to uh, oil them, you know, grease them. So your cake don't stick. So I've already done that too. Alright, let's see. Looks like we've got this mixed up pretty good. That looks pretty good. Nicely mixed. Alright, looks good. Let me go get my little... You guys will see my little red spatula thingamabob. Let me go get that real quick. My little, my little red spatula helper. I got this from Dollar Tree for a dollar. Just to help, you know, scrape my sides. Make sure all my sides get mixed. I just kind of spin my bowl around like that. And then I go in again to make sure everything's mixed. Scraping my bottom. Making sure everything's all mixed down there. Scraping my sides. You guys see how that's going. Scraping my sides. You ain't got to do a whole lot. Just mix it up. Mix across your top there to make sure everything is getting mixed up here too. You know, just do like little swirls across the top. Make sure all that's getting mixed up too. Sometimes we forget about that, but take your little, you know, and just mix across the top. All right, we don't want to over mix. Looks like we've got it all mixed together. It smells amazing. It smells real chocolatey. Okay, so we've done all that. And only thing we got to do is just pour our batter in the pan. And we bake it, let's see. Bake it for like 20, 25 minutes, 24 minutes. It says 24 to 26, so whatever. I'll set my timer to um, 24 minutes. And of course, I'll check it. I use it, just use a toothpick or a fork to check it. Make sure it's done in the center. And the trick with the toothpick or your fork is to, you know, just poke the cake in the middle and make sure there's no, no wetness on the fork. Because if your fork or your toothpick comes back up wet, that means the cake mix isn't cooked all the way. So if it comes back up dry, you're good to go to take it out. So <clears throat> let me move this cake mix over. Go grab my pan. And I'm going to be doing two sizes a day. The chocolate cake, I'm going to make it the circle. And y'all know, yep, it's Gotham. Gotham, Gotham, Gotham. All right, so one thing we need to do is get this cake mix poured in the pan. Make sure I'm not standing in the light here. Just pouring my cake mix in there. Scraping my sides, getting it all in there. Getting all of your cake mix. Getting all of it. Okay. All of that 
cake mix. Get all of that. All of that. All of that. Smells so good and chocolatey. Mm, 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 mm. I can't wait. Y'all know I'm greedy. I can't wait. I love to eat. Who doesn't? I mean, let's keep it real. Who does not love to eat food? All right. Okay. We've got that all in. Oh, sorry about that, guys. You guys saw. Anyway. And what I do, just a little trick. It's what I do. I take the cake pan. I put it, I lay it flat. Let me just say. Let me turn so you guys can see. Lay my cake, cake pan flat. And I just do like this. I just take it, leave it flat on the table, and I just take it and I just shake it. And, I, and the, the reason why I'm doing this is that I'm shaking it so that it can get all nice and flat. All your, I, your cake mix gets all even. Just take it and shake it like that. Some people do like this. Eh, you can do that. I do that sometimes. Just do like this. Just kind of tap it around, spin it around, or you can just push it from side to side like this. Just to get your cake mix all even, you know? And that's it, guys. I'm just going to go pop it in the oven for 24 to 26 minutes. All right, guys. I'll be back with the white cake. Okay, guys. And we are back with our white cake mix. And I just wanted to show you guys what I was previously talking about. See this, I just pour the cake mix in, and what I normally do is I just take my fork and just get rid of some of those big chunks that's already in there. Just get rid of the, some of those, you know, so that way we don't have to worry about them when we're mixing. Just a little trick I learned. Get rid of those chunks. You guys can see, yep, you guys can see. Make sure you guys can see real good. Yep, just... Getting rid of those big chunks that we already have. Just take your fork and just get rid of them. Now you might have a few, but it doesn't matter. You just, just want to get rid of the really big ones. You can kind of smash it to, on the side of your bowl. I do that too. Smash it against the side of your bowl. But just trying to get rid of some of those big chunks. Just a little trick I learned. I love to bake. I love baking. And, you know, let me tell you guys some history here while I'm, I'm doing this. Okay, so let's do our cup of water. Same thing as our chocolate cake. One cup of water. Cup of water. I made a little hole in the center of my cake mix. Pouring it right there in the middle. All right. Okay, and one third cup of oil. Pouring that right in the center with my water okay got those done and let's get our three eggs in there three large eggs get those in there y'all know I can't stand messes I know I'm a little OCD but hey rather been rather be clean than anything else so all right so we've got our fork gonna go ahead and get everything mixed so make sure you guys can see okay you guys can see all right just gonna mix this real quick like we did our chocolate mix really see and it smells so good the white cake mix smells so good of course it doesn't smell like the chocolate it smells like it smells real sweet and vanilla -y. like you know like a vanilla Ooh, I'm loving it take my fork and I just spam my bowl scraping the bottom scraping my sides Yada, yada, yada. Get it all mixed up. Okay. 
Okay, get it all mixed. All right, I'm gonna switch from the fork. Let me move the fork out of the way. And I'm gonna switch to my little red little spatula here. Guys, see here, just like the chocolate cake, mix it up, scrape that bottom. Scraping around the bowl down there, making sure I'm getting everything mixed. Mixed, mixed, mixed. That's all I'm doing. Spin it around like that. Getting everything nice and mixed for your cake. Smells so good, guys. I might let y'all have a piece of cake. I might let y'all have a slice. I might. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. Smells good. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is nicely blended. See that, guys? Nicely blended. You guys, look at it. Nicely blended. Sit y'all back down. And let me move that over and let me go get our Gotham. Y'all know it's Gotham. Now, on this cake, I'm going to use my square cake pan. You know, just so I can have two different sizes. All right, let me pull y'all back and make sure y'all can see. Get my cake batter in. Stir it up a little bit more. Make sure I got everything stirred. And there we go. Let's get it poured in. Ooh, there's going to be some good cakes. Now, I haven't perfected the whole homemade fresh cakes. I haven't perfected that yet. I'm still working on that, y'all. But that's all right. It don't matter. Duncan Hines makes it nice, quick, and easy for me. Thank you, Duncan Hines. Thank you very much. Like I tell y'all, I am not perfect. I do my best to be a good, decent person. Serve God, love God, love others, but I am not perfect at all. All right. Ooh, we got all that in. Yes. All right. And the same thing, let me, so you guys can see, same thing I did to my circle pan. I'm just tossing it around so we can get that cake mix all even in our pan. Just toss it around. Leave it flat on your table. Just beat it up, slap it around a little bit. Well, you know, be nice, guys. Okay, kind of slap it around so everything's all nice and even. And you know what? Let's throw it in the oven. All right, guys, when I come back, um, I'll be pulling the cakes out of the oven. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just took the cakes out of the oven. And this is the chocolate cake, looking all nice and yummy. And yeah, it does kind of look like a volcano, but don't worry about that. The ice ain't gonna cover all that. But yeah, it looks really nice and chocolatey. Mmm. Ooh, whole house smells so sweet. Look at that. And let me show you guys how, since I pre-sprayed my pan, look how you can see. See if I can get you guys to see, yep. See how you can see the side of it is already up. So it shouldn't be hard to take this out at all. I should be able to just lift it right out. But of course, you know, I have to let it cool off before I do all that. But Ooh, look at that cake. Look at that cake. Oh, it smells so good. Y'all know I got to take y'all in. I love it. Love taking y'all in. Look at that look. Look, little chocolate trying to crack through and peek through. It's all right. We're going to cover that up with ice and it's going to be good. And here is our vanilla. Our, I'm sorry, our classic. Our classic white cake. All nice and done. Ooh, look at it. You guys can see my little my little hole right there. My little hole while I poked it with the toothpick to make sure. And right here. Gotta poke it with. See a little hole right there, guys? I'm gonna zoom in for you. That's the little hole. You take your little toothpick, stab it down in there, and you you take your toothpick down, you bring it up. If your toothpick is wet in any type of way, the cake isn't done. The toothpick has to come up completely dry. That means the cake's done. And you do it right in that center, center of the cake. And see, you can see on the side here, my cake is ready on the side. It's not sticking to the side or nothing. 
I'm telling you, man, this Gotham, Gotham pants are amazing. They are amazing. And they are not pricey, pricey, ridiculous prices. They are affordable. I'm telling y'all, one day I'm a partner with Gotham. I love Gotham. I love their cookware. But yeah, that is the all oh, the classic white cake. I'll give you guys another quick look at the chocolate cake. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool off, guys. I'm gonna let them cool off and then put them on their plates, you know, that I'm gonna use. And then, of course, I'll go ahead and get them all icing up. But let's let them cool off and I'll be back letting you guys see how I ice them. All right, guys, thanks. Okay, guys, I am back. My cake has cooled off and I am here icing my cake. Um, I've got the top of my cake already icing and I'm just taking my knife. I use a butter knife. This is the knife that I use, the curved butter knife. I've got like one of those long cake butter knives, you know, used for um, icing cakes. But this is the knife that I use. Use whatever you want to use as long as you get your icing on. All right, and I'm getting ready to ice on my sides. Just going to take my knife and just go straight across. Quick and easy. Turn it around like this. And you guys will see, just going to put the ice in there and just scrape it across. See? Scrape it across. Like you see. Nothing fancy. You know. And then just take the ice in the cross. Just take it straight on down. Sorry guys, let me back it up. Just taking that knife. And see, that's all I'm doing. Taking that knife and just taking it straighter down and around. Down and around, guys. That's all I'm doing. Perfect knife for doing this. I'm just taking it around that corner. That's it. I'll do this last side over here. Depends on how much icing you want. Don't want to do too much. Okay. Get those sides. And then you just kind of smooth it over. However you want to do You want to do fancy stuff across the top? You go right ahead. Me, I just... Smooth it like that. Do my little designs across the top. Don't want to do too much. Something simple. I just kind of do this. You know. Just go down like that, row by row. And then you just smooth it out around the edge. Just smooth it out. Smooth it out, guys. See? Look at that. Look at them little waves. Y'all see them waves. Don't like y'all don't see them waves. Just take your knife and do it. Have a little design you want to make. See? It is ready. And this is our vanilla cake. Well, our classic white cake. And our chocolate icing. That's what that is. And I've got to do the chocolate cake also. The devil's. Double spoon chocolate cake. I got to do that one also. Then I got some chocolate chips I wanted to use to put on the cake. Ooh. I'm really doing it. Just take these chocolate chips. Some leftover chocolate chips I had. I'm just going to spread them across. I can't just throw them on. These chocolate chips. So I got to actually, you know, lay them individually. Alright guys, I'm not going to sit here and let you guys watch me put all these chips on. So, that's what I'm doing guys. Let me show you. That's how it's looking with the chocolate chips. I'll be back to show you, you know, with that done and finished. And let's move over. Let me just move this out of the way. I'll finish putting those chips on. And let's move on to our chocolate cake. Let's move on to that. 
get my knife cleaned off so we can start doing that. Doing that uh, other cape there. All right, let's see. All right, let's get. Let's get this other cake going. All right. Okay, so now we have, let's do, we're doing the creamy cream cheese frosting with the chocolate cake. This open. I like to take my icing and mix it up get it all ready that's what i like to do get it all ready i'm just gonna get a nice amount of that Whoa. and just spread it across my cake you guys know we got that little little dip in the middle but once i icing it up you won't even tell won't even be able to tell won't even be able to tell with my circle cakes let me scoot back so you guys can see I just go across the top like this, spreading the love, spreading the love. All right, guys, I'll be back when I've got these cakes done so you can see the finishing touches. Be right back, guys. Hey, guys, just wanted to come back real quick and show you guys the finishing touches on our cake. This is our uh, classic white cake. No, I'm sorry, this is the chocolate cake. This, this, the double food chocolate cake with the cream cheese icing and the chocolate chips. And this is the classic white with the creamy chocolate icing and chocolate chips. I just threw chocolate chips on both of them, y'all. Look at it, looks so good. Here you go, get y'all a bite. Look at that. Mmm, look at that. With the chocolate chips. Y'all, I was putting them chocolate chips on one at a time. Then you know what I say? I ain't got all day. I just threw them across the top. They, it worked. They just landed how they landed. Keeping it real. But it looks good. Still looks good. I didn't want to over chocolate chip it. I ain't want to do too much. But it looks good. It looks really nice. It turned out really nice, guys. Really nice. All right, guys, that is our cake video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, at Erika Misha on Instagram. Um, and also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Don't forget, knowledge is power.